Alright, first up, we're going to visit a place called Paradise. And the dream creator, their name is Camille. Okay, so right off the bat, they have chosen winter to be the season. And their flag is the cherry blossom sakura petals. Very Japanese theme from what I remember reading up on it. I have custom custom uh, ground tiles to make it look like a road. Okay. It's uh go counterclockwise. I'm already headed to the right. That's uh, Camille's house. She has feet. Raymond. Stitches. Miranje. Anna. Raoul. Zucker. Marshall. And Anka. A lot of the uh, tier 1 villagers on our list. gonna what's up four beach beds three coconut tree two floor lights here and a sand castle everything's so neat first thing you notice about her island is how very clean everything is it's not like very cluttered her nooks is right here Looks like a very modern day. Playing KK Disco. Vending machines. So yeah, they were definitely going for the urban Japanese type of look. Garbage can with bicycles. Look at some tiles right there. Very nice. Very good use of railings too. Street light, uh, these electrical posts, giving that very modern look. She's got the toy block over right here. The air loungers, hammock, very nice, relaxing setting you got here. Okay. Get the dock, they added a white street lamp with some fishing rods. Surfboards piled up and a picnic basket by the rocks. I think that's a custom uh, blanket they got down there. Over here, got like a mini playground. Benches. Dig this way, zigzag through, the able sis is just right behind the tranny. Has a very nice uh, modern look. Resident services. Vending machine alley. Yeah, this looks very Japanesey, like Tokyo. Mountain, dune spot, and the spacing of the houses is really nice. It's like you're walking very suburban. A bit of decoration for each person's personality. I think the weights are for the jock villager. This has to be Anka, the pharaoh mask. Oh, fire pit. 
Got a really nice outdoor picnic area here. Bit of random flowers. Beach is very clear. Not much going on. You got the ice arches. Staring off. The, I think this is uh, Red's Beach, the secret beach here. Little stall by the museum. Going off some dresses here. Over here, they created a little down outlet. I think it's supposed to represent the train. Oh, yeah, there's a train tracks there. So it's supposed to be like a train station of some sort. And in Japan, they have the vending machine by the uh, public benches too. When I went to go visit. So it really captures it. Bamboo bit. Black forest bits and flowers here. Let's uh, take a look. Wow. Night market. Or some market they got here. Bunch of servers. Their island's flat for the most part, giving them more, like, when you flatten everything out, it gives them a lot of space. I mean, it might not look as, like, terraformed as some people's, but you get a lot of mobility, nice and clean, very minimalist, almost minimalist looking. Minimalist, you would have literally nothing on your island, but, wow. Just take in this view, it's a whole flower field. Back to resident services. Nice flower field you got going up. Got uh, the pagoda, isolate, it's fenced off. Another person, that, this must be their house I think. Sounds like uh, KK King, the tatami floor, real bed, it's a uh, back room first. Some random star chairs here. Got the bathroom. I don't remember the tiles of those ones. Small bathtub, two bathtubs, toilet, and a shower booth. Stand. Oh, an entire mermaid. Thing. Basement. They decided to put the kitchen in the basement. Okay, and the bedroom up here. Better take a nap on your bed. Very cute room they got here. A lot of pink going on. Also looks uh, doesn't really look like a kid's room, but doesn't look like an adult room. From somewhere in the middle, a young adult. That concludes the house tour. Uh, let's see. Oh, there she is. Let's see what she's got to say for us. Welcome. Okay. You don't want to see my uh, message that I've got for my visitors in my dreams. It's uh, NS. FW. Right here, she's got the outdoor onsen. Secondary one here. 
Very nice aesthetic. Oh yeah, the pagoda that we saw earlier. And another uh, outdoor bath as well. Just a random Zen bridge. <laughs> Just uh, goes over some small pond here. Funny. A, a very nice cleaned up beach. There's not too much going on. Single coconut tree. Outdoor tea set. Way to pass through. Have to go around a long way. Okay, let's go underneath the arches. Very nice waterfall. Going on here. We got the stone dog lion or whatever they call those. More street uh, street aesthetics. Lighthouse for the viewing spot. Outdoor cafe, it seems, and the campsite is located out here. DIY beach. Outdoor cafe, it's a desserts cafe. Back to residence. And oh, Starbucks. Starbucks looking sort of thing. Outdoor Starbucks. Okay. And. More desserts, popcorn. No, that's not a popcorn. That's the, the ice machine. Uh, soup. And we use arches. I think that concludes our entire island. Yep. Alright. Awesome. The next island up is Val Valeris. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Kyrie. It's a friend of mine that I met through Animal Crossing. And I'm gonna pay her dream, her island, a visit. Alright, so we have arrived in Valeris. And she has what looks like uh, mountains with three stars as her flag. Beginning, we see confectionaries, gumball machines, and I think this area, from what I remember visiting her island, she leaves a bunch of uh, stuff that she gives away to people in Animal Crossing in the area. So it could be anything from DIYs to clothing, accessories, name it. She'll put, she'll leave it in that area for you. Surfboards going on. Oh, nice beach area with the change room, music, desserts, relaxed feel there. And she's got a wedding area. But before we get to that, got the small music area here. That's where the band plays. Custom pathing of the stone. And this must be her 5 6 gravity creatures. Oh, yes, yeah, she mentioned that uh, you talk to everyone in the dream. It, uh, it's, it's a. Was that Nightmare on Elm Street? They'll start uh, chanting it. So, the wedding, er wedding dinner area. Piano. Some nice sculptures out here. A random painting on the beach. 
dried squid, fishing docks with chairs, cooler, and fishing rods. Zigzag this way. Got the neighborhoods. Oh, let's check the map. Here. Kari, Link, Witch. She's a huge fan of Legend of Zelda, I'm guessing. Why she made Link, Marcel, Cookie, Lucky, Three Dogs, Maple, Goldie, a lot of dog villagers. Grizzly, Anka, Raymond, and Dom. Now, my very nice neighbor. Two houses in each row. Zigzag in our way. Oh, got the warrior statue. Stone dog. This must be the Zen garden. Everybody's got a Zen guard somewhere. There you go. The uh, monument. There's even a white flower. Honor the dead. Very nice. Waterfall behind there. Check the back of the beach. Some random sea creatures lying out here. Oh, this might be like a, uh, a fish market of some sort. Okay, let's cross the bridge. And back here you got... I guess a botanical area. Grow flowers and whatnot. Very outdoor cafe. Mm hmm. Playing KK Cafe. There's Anka. Random moon. A bunch of flowers around it. Okay. Over here. Oops. Let's stick with the path. Oh, there's a witch. 3 4. Better lock your door. Back there. This looks like uh, Alice in Wonderland. I, I don't know. Ooh, nice cannons. Got a pirate beach. Wonder how we get there. Let's go check out the pirate beach. Down here. Oh, the campsite. Got a nice tent pitched. And. Picnic it. Lamp stove. Everything's neatly laid out. Bunch of mushrooms. Nice. Cannons, gold, treasure. Oh. Yep, I can hop over. There we go. Wow, that's very good. Very cool. Which one's her house? The one on the lower floor, I look. We'll only check out her house. I won't check out the witch. Or we could check it out. We could check out the witch's house. Might as well. Okay. Nice space theme going on. Easter. Bunny day stuff. Bunch of DIY. Mermaid room. Ooh. Painting though. Pirate themed basement. Oh, very 
Very well done. Looks amazing. And some wedding of thing going on here. Oh, well, this is, uh, this is now a uh, R-rated dream tour with the man showing his his uh, his wee wee. There's the museum. Nice monuments going on. We checked out the cafe already. There's a meat stand. Fortune cookie stand. Little playground here. Random telescope there. Random anchor. Beach area is nice and tidy not much going on the orchard oh let's check that out over there haha <laughs> triforce I've only played a few Legend of Zelda games. Um, Link to the Past, maybe Link's Awakening. I'm gonna play the the one that they just remade onto the Switch. Uh, I'll eventually play play that one. And Breath of the Wild, definitely one of my favorites. Breath of the Wild, amazing. Ocarina of Time for the N64. I played that one as well. Yeah, I can't wait for Breath of the Wild 2. Highly anticipated. Link. Got some gardening area here. Surfboards. Got shops back here. And every single pop up tulip box. Granny. Granny mm. has a button candy stand in front. Right next to it, the Able Sisters. Hey, let's check out our house before we head out. I think we checked out pretty much the entirety of the island. Point has a onsen front yard. All our status. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. No, Kyrie, I'm coming for you. Very Japanese aesthetics. AK Bubblegum. The back, she has a workshop going on. Gears. Has a very, like, messy worker look back here. And the main room. Bunch of ja uh, autograph photos. It's very cluttered compared to her island, which is uh, not as cluttered. Study place where, yeah, we call this a study area. Very uh, sophisticated looking. Nice artwork. Chessboard, grandfather clock, 
Not something I'd imagine Kyrie to have. More like a, a middle-aged man type of aesthetic going on there. And the kitchen. Is very well decorated. Basement time. As it has like all the albums and posters going on here. So this looks like a games room. That is, uh, Animal City, I believe it's called. They play that song in Super Smash Bros. And upstairs, it's her bedroom slash bathroom. Bed and bath. Bed, bath, and beyond. Thank you for having me, Kyrie. Hey, why'd you walk away from me? Rude. I'm gonna slap you. An island called Terra. This island, this uh, island belongs to one of my friends. You may know her by the name of Jaya. She uh, has done some of the survivor games with me. And I'm going to be visiting her dream island. I wanted to get a formal tour from Jaya herself, but she refuses to do it. I, and I guess since, uh, um, a lot of us are busy in our lives right now, there isn't enough time to designate for a formal tour, so doing a individual tour in my own time will have to suffice. Uh, so let's begin, shall we? Uh, her flag is one of the default patterns in the game. I think I've seen that tree before. Terra. Oh, Terra means, uh, Earth as well, so. Let's see. I, right off the bat, I have no idea where to go. There's like three directions that split off. Um, but my favorite part of her island is right here. Guard turtle on duty. This is the best one. Best thing about her island right here. Okay. Mm it's got some random uh, diner stuff out here. And an onsen by the museum. And there's a patterns, custom patterns by a fountain. Surfboards. Zucker. Oh, those, uh, those creatures, what are they called again? Can't check. But yeah, these, uh, these things that look like Pokemon. Got a bunch of them lined up. Check out the map at least. It's Jaya, and that's her husband. Hamlet, Mira, Zucker, Coco, Caroline, Savannah, Octavian, Marina, Ruff, and Marshall. 
bunch of beach beds. Some really old-fashioned washboard dry cloth. So very eco-friendly. Uh, so instead of using a washing and drying machine, do things the old-fashioned way, you know? And this is her house, I believe. But we can tour that first. Yes, this is her house. Apple TVs and an Apple chair. Mm, this is her bedroom. Okay. No comment. Right, we got a trophy room. Uh, dart games. Okay. Something that, uh... And bathroom. Basement looks like a kitchen of the stove and sink running. And there's a hearth. And upstairs Looks like what seems to be Asian themed restaurant. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of Imperial stuff going on here. That's my guess. DIYs is lined up by the nooks. Godzilla and Pedagoda. Uh, it's a stage band. Is there anything here? A park? Yeah. It's like a park. A bunch of teddies lined up. Heading into some, definitely a zen looking area. Rock garden, maybe? No, no rock garden. Well, these are rocks. But, uh, those six rocks that people try to line up perfectly. I thought it was gonna be there. Rose bed. For the bouch go wow wow time, I guess. before a bunch of her resident stuff resident services cross the bridge over and her able sisters back here 
along with the Gundam. More playground stuff. Just a random assortment of things. Uh, cafe. I think. Outdoor cafe. Her husband's house. And... She wanted to debut her wedding, I think this house she redesigned it for the wedding thing that she didn't get to show off in her formal tour that she did with someone else. So I'm going to show it off here for you guys. So this looks like uh, what is it? It, the, the aisle that the bride walks down. And then uh, this is the dressing room, I guess, where they get changed into their wedding attire. And we'll go right this time. Some mermaid themed bathroom and the kitchen where they prepare the meals for the guest oh I've never seen that wallpaper before custom? Or is it one of those special Sahara wallpapers? And got the wedding cake ready for the guests. To the basement first. I think this is the honeymoon suite. So after they get married, they spend their honeymoon down here. And this is the after party. So after after the wedding is done, they come up here to have dinner, whatnot, and sing. Very typical of wedding halls to have an area like this. Very good, very good details. What does Mr. Husband have to say to me? Hello to all. Okay. It's very nice terraforming done here. Feels like a very secret path going to the secret beach. JL, I guess that's the initials of Jaya and her husband. Got some pockets going on there. Her orchard is sort of sorted, very showcasey looking with the floor lights. And you can hop over this part. Okay. Houses there. I think this is a uh, outdoor library. The bookshelves. Cafe Nashi.
I don't think we've gone to the... Oh, I hate this part of our island. Um, the reason why I don't like it is because... Once I pass that lawnmower thing, it's so hard to get out. Like, you get stuck there. If you don't have tools, you don't have a vaulting pole, you're screwed, man. The only way to get... Like, I struggle to get out. I'm not gonna walk through there. But, uh... Yeah. It, was, it gave me a, a traumatic experience. And... This looks like a tool area. Services again. Picnic. I don't think we've gone through this place. Is there a flower area? Stonehenge. And the moon. Okay, very nice. Nice campsite. With the arcade stuff going on here. She, well, I think she did give me a tour one time. That's how I sort of know this place. While we were visiting. Um, but it wasn't anything formal. Oh, the duck. Okay, we're back here. Right. Some magician stuff. Sea Breeze Bar. Okay. Got another bar out here. Let's head back there for a second before we head forward. Picnic. Drum set. And there is the woman of the hour. Hello there, stranger. How dare you call me a stranger, Jaya? After all we've been through? Aliens, the Pyramid of Giza, is, uh, that thing, uh, Scorpio, Golden Chair, and Sphinx, Lighthouse, Rover, UFO, Lunar Lander. Okay, fishing rods and mermaid arc, or shell arc rather. Anchor, two beds, and some pool area going on here. And I think we have looped back to the beginning. Yeah, that's it. That is all we are going to conclude. Oh! The gym. It's this area plus the mermaid area. I, okay, I think we covered 100% of the island at this point. And we say goodbye to our friend, Guard Turtle. Give him. Alrighty. Alright. Now we're gonna begin the tour of Honeyland. This is one of these um, really detailed islands that have so much items and clutter that uh, it's going to start to lag at some point. And you even see it start to load because of so many items being placed. But yeah, you, you probably enjoy this one. Uh, the flag looks like... Uh, Lilies of the Valleys, if I'm not mistaken. Got a bunch of, bunch of leaves going on here. Some jail bars.
Don't mind the notifications going off my phone. About uh, that time of the day where people are waking up and messaging. Very nice scenic. Autumn scenic going on here. She has a botanical garden. Pirate Bay. Christy, Justin, Neba, and in her villagers, June, Molly. Rina, Zucker, Lily, Marshall, Maple, Poppy, and Coco. Let's check out the house. It's just a... Uh, looks like a botanical house. Plants everywhere. Okay. Waterfall going. See, as you can see, it's still loading up in the back. This looks like a Plantation area. I don't know. There's water, melons, coconut trees, a barn, perhaps. So maybe a farm going on here. Very nice, favorite colors. They chose a good season. Go over the bridge. And have, I guess, the fishing area. A lot of neat custom pathing. The wood, for instance, and the rock. Oh. The way she did her peninsula with the lighthouse. Elevated on a cliff. Neat. Okay, just a random bunch of random antique stuff lying on the rocks. And stuff. Yes, random stuff laying out there. a bathtub, you know? <laughs> right, let's try to get back to the mainland. I think came from that way. We'd have to come back We'd have to cross the if possible. Yeah. And I believe this is the host. Christy, welcome. Japanese room. Mm 
main room is very uh how would you describe it warm bunch of warm colors you use the cloud flooring the wooden mats give that sauna effect I did the same to my house so I know you got the laundry going on there with bathroom and showers bathtub And the kitchen. Very cozy. Love it. This feels like a home. Wow. <clears throat> My voice cracked. Okay. Wow. This has a very... Uh, what's that? Very classic look to it. Grand piano, billiards table. Custom uh, panels. It's supposed to look like alcohol back there. Grandfather clock, couch by the fireplace, and some vintage paintings. Yes, this has a very uh, vintage look in the basement. Very classy. And upstairs have more paintings on this, more uh, high-end paintings on the wall, and a random flower wagon, bed that you, yes, we can get to it, and you can, s can you sleep on it? No, ah. Uh. Piano, at least you can play the piano. Mirror, change your image. Thank you, Christy. We'll be moving on. It's starting to lag because of all the details. Hilarious. Secret Beach. of other villagers houses around here it's the amount of uh, decoration is crazy and here's the witch's house Zaniba welcome got a cauldron right out the front another cauldron A lot of fire going on here. <laughs> the clay stove, the fireplace. It's 
surprised the house hasn't been set on fire yet. More, uh, wow. Another, uh, two stoves and a brick oven stove and, uh, the oil barrel. But I like, I like, uh, the look that she was going for here with the dungeon. I think that's the dungeon wall and the dungeon flooring. So she has a very, uh, class, like, fairy tale look going on here. There's a lot of items in the room, but you can still maneuver your way to get to the other room. Here you've got... Looks like a, a sigil on the ground. Some type of casting circle. And the fortune teller set. So a bunch of witchcraft stuff going on here. And, well, I guess the witch needs to bathe and do her, you know, hygiene. Use the bathroom, you know. So I had to go with a uh, very, I don't know, roots. Those are a bunch of tree roots. Has a very, um... Aztec temple look to it. No basement. Upstairs. Another cauldron. And that same Aztec looking wallpaper. Dirt flooring. The Australopithecus skull back there. Okay, I'm getting the heck out of here. Another villager's house, more villagers. Nope. The dead end? No, yeah, we can get it around. Go. Oh, the train area. And pretty cool how she makes it look like it's going into a tunnel. Been here yet? Yes, that is Poppy's home. A tea party area? gone there. That's a dead end where the train tracks go. Go up 
here then. Bamboo forest type area. Got this path to just guides you. Oh wow, I like bridge here. Christmas market of some sort. And the museum found it. Penis statue. Back there. Get back there. Angled signpost. There's a campsite. So many details. Okay, some type of cafe. See if we can get back there. Oh yeah, this is the back there. Maybe, oh yes, there's a secret path here. Up over. The pagodas and the onsen. See if I can get back. I, I think I may have been back there. That might have been the witch house. Dead end train tracks. Here. Down here. Gone to this area. I think, yeah, and now uh, back here is a meat cafe. Things are appearing out of nowhere on my screen. Yeah, and I think this is a dead end. I remember. Yep. Here. Man, I am never getting off this island. It's so convoluted.
think that's a dead end. Here. Is it able to? Oh, he's blocking my way. Okay. Got an outdoor dinner area. And a wedding this yeah this is a wedding area well this uh the amount of details on this island is worthy of a five star probably put thousands of hours into this game and we made it we finally made it to the back reaches i think we've I've gotten the meat of this place. This is probably the majority I've covered. If I've missed anything, I'm sorry. Campsite. Yeah, we've been here. Okay, so there, th that was the, uh, that was a way out I couldn't find. I had to go Right, and oh, they got a post office. That's neat. Post office is a dead end. Make our way back. Resident services. Yeah, in there. Make our way back. I, I want to check out this area, but Molly's blocking it. Okay. There we go. 